Hello, welcome to the Exiles, another lockdown video from the garden. So today I wanted to talk about push and draw cuts, okay, in terms of long sword use um, and give some thoughts around that. So what I'm talking about here is um, specifically once you've made a standard normal action cut, okay, uh, Fury, so Fendente, but whatever cut you're doing from your chosen long sword system, um, it's the idea that we need to either pull at the end of that action or indeed during the action like this or that we need to push once we've landed okay which is a little bit rarer I had an exchange a couple of weeks ago um, following someone's uh, video with a cutting drill where they were basically coming out and back in like this okay which is what's inspired this video okay so from a longsword perspective there's a time and a place for push and pull cuts and I'll give you some examples in a second but in general use, it's completely unnecessary to add another action to help power that good cutting, good cutting action, okay? Simply just going through a Fendente, for example, my weapon is moving in a natural arc anyway, okay? So at good extension, once I've hit a target, it's got a little bit of lateral movement, which is giving me, combined with the speed and the mass of the weapon, it's gonna give me a good cutting action anyway. Um, I suggest you watch my other video on the center of percussion and where we want to hit with, but in either case, um, just cutting normally will give me my natural arc, okay, which will give me my good cutting action, okay. I think people place a little bit too much emphasis on slicing, I hate that word, but slicing and cutting with a longsword. Yes, it's absolutely important, okay, especially if they're unarmored, obviously, if they're armored, it's slightly different, you're only cutting to create an opening, but we're talking about unarmored now. Um, it is important, but nine times out of ten especially under duress at speed if you're in distance just hitting them with the weapon is enough you're going to get a good percussive strike anyway okay but for argument's sake just purely cutting in an ideal world just cutting out will give me my natural arc so that when and if you've done test cutting it's immediately obvious but you're cutting through and you will get a good purchase and you will get a good cutting action a slicing action on your on your opponent okay if we're trying to come out and pull back like this to add some cutting action to that whole motion it's a very very wasted action to do normally okay if i'm coming out and cutting in coming out cutting in it's completely unnecessary it's not going to give you anything really to drive that cut okay it's, it's going to slow you down it's going to make recovery a little bit more difficult most of the time but let's talk about examples where it is useful we'll start with the draw cut first okay so let's say i've done a fendente at my opponent okay and let's say i've been really quick or beaten them to the punch or they've thrown up just a lazy cover like this they've reacted to me okay so let's say they've done this kind of action my weapon has landed but it hasn't landed with anything meaningful okay and it's against the shoulder or there or thereabouts so let's say my weapon is my hand and it's right here okay in that instance it might be advantageous for me to just recover back to poster with a little bit of downward pressure i'll push with my right hand i'll pull with my left i might even stick a thumb down the weapon as well um, we'll talk about that another time and I might just pull back and recover to posture to try and get something happening with that recovery, try and get a little bit of a cutting action going on. It's not gonna be a fight ender, but it might give them something to think about, and I'm going that way anyway, okay? So coming through and just pulling through. So that's an example of where sometimes it's useful to do that kind of action. It's the same with a push cut as well, okay? Um, there are actually instances with Fiori's work where it's advantageous to do a pushing type action with your weapon. Normally once you've connected with your opponent, uh, a good example of that will be from the one-handed section where we have made an outside cover, we've pushed at the opponent's arm and we're trying to come around the back of them, okay? Like this, to saw at their neck, to kick away their feet. I'll throw an image of that play up on the screen now. If I'm accessing that play, covering through, I'm coming offline, I'm, I'm limited for space, so I'd have come offline a bit more, and I'm pushing the arm and I'm coming through, okay, I might as well make that a push cut type action. I might as well drop this against their neck, and as I step through, push, okay? Because it will give me something, okay? Yes, I'm coming around the back and I'm gonna soar and kick away their feet, which is the main purpose of that action, but it's there, I might as well do it. And if I'm interrupted, 
well then I might have gotten something going on, okay? So sometimes there's a time and a place for a push and a pull type cutting action. And as I say, in other systems, particularly East End systems, there's a much bigger deal made of them, okay? But for us, with our long sword use, it's not necessary to come out and come back in, okay? It's actually quite a basic type of mistake. And in the early days, when a lot of people were converting to reenact from reenactment to HEMA, this is something that a lot, I remember people doing this, okay? coming through and pulling because they were under the impression that you needed to do that drawing action to actually cut something not necessary at all okay and a couple of minutes of test cutting on anything other than a milk bottle will will tell you that straight away okay it's just not necessary and as i say even without even if i'm landing in completely perpendicular to my target which is very rare if i'm hitting completely flat okay the percussive force of that strike is enough to hurt them. Just the percussive force is enough. I don't need to worry about trying to push, pull. I'm not worried about that, okay? So, thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. There's obviously a lot more. There's some great videos out there talking about this. So if you look at other YouTube channels and so on and so forth, there's loads more detail. This is just my two pence worth. So thanks for watching.